Coming up is part one of the course from makethattrack.com. As a member of our website, you get access to all the links, presets, samples and loops and also project files, including MIDI, for all the tutorials on the site. Enjoy this free tutorial and be sure to check us out at makethattrack.com. Hey guys, welcome to part one. In this video, we're gonna be setting up our project and getting our drum kit together. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is set our tempo. And this uh, song is gonna be made in 120. So at, up here at the top, we're just gonna drag this down from 128 to 120. And the next thing we wanna do before we start getting drums in here is set up a custom folder that we can drag samples from. In order to do that, we go to Options, File Settings, and then underneath here, we have a bunch of uh, custom folder presets. And if we just click on one of these folders, it's gonna let us choose uh, where we want our uh, custom folder to be. So I'm just gonna choose this here, hit okay. Now it's gonna be in there. And it's gonna pop up on the left here on the browser. All you have to do is navigate to whatever you name the folder and click it and it will open. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, set up an FPC. And what an FPC is, is a plugin in FL Studio that will allow us to assign a bunch of audio clips to different pads that we can use to create a MIDI pattern and write in a drum beat. So in order to get an FPC in here, I already have one, but in order to get one in here, you can right click anywhere in the pattern window and choose insert FPC and it's going to load an FPC up here. And it's going to have a bunch of uh, pads already assigned with different drum sounds, but in order to uh, create your own, you're going to want to empty this out. So we're going to go up here to the top left, choose Presets and Empty. Now we have a bunch of empty pads that we can assign audio to. So there's two ways that we can get audio in here. We can either click on this folder icon and then load it up this way. Or we can navigate to the folder that we have set in our preset and just drag them on. So I'm going to go into Samples, Drum Rack, and this is going to be the five samples that we're going to load in here. So I'm just going to grab the kick, drag that in, snare, drag that into the next pad, our hi-hat, ride, and a closed hi-hat. So now we can uh, click on these pads to play them, or we can use a MIDI controller or keyboard to play them if we hit the corresponding notes that they're assigned to. So if I click on kick here, we can see up here that it's assigned to C sharp three. So if I press C sharp three on my MIDI keyboard, it would play the kick. Okay, so I already have an FPC set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one. I'm gonna right click on it and choose delete. I'm going to open up the FPC that I already have. And once we have our audio assigned, uh, we have a couple of options that we can uh, use for each sound here. Uh, we have a volume knob that we can assign for each. We have a panning and we have a pitch knob. So I've already gone through and assigned each uh, sound a different volume so that they uh, no nothing sounds too loud or quiet. Okay, so now we can begin to write our basic drum beat. So the first thing we're going to want to do is right click on FPC and choose Piano Roll. And that's going to bring up this grid here that we can use to start writing our drum beat. So as you can see on the left, all of our sounds are assigned to different keys on the keyboard. So if I just click somewhere, I can put a note in. So let's uh, put in some kicks. So just write in a kick there. We'll put one kick per drum beat. Now, this is a little quiet, and I want my uh, standard volume to be at about here. So in the velocities down here, uh, these pillars control how loud each uh, note is. So if I just click and drag, it's going to make each of these a little bit louder. And I can use these to fine tune the volume of individual notes if I want to. 
But for now, I am just going to keep the kick at a sustained volume. And then we'll put a snare on every second beat. Okay. And then we'll put a hi-hat on every upbeat. And we'll do the same with the ride. Okay, and for the closed hat, we'll do the same. However, we're going to add a little bit of an extra beat here. And we'll bring the velocity down on that extra note. And we'll add another one here at the end. Okay, and now we have our basic drum beat. So in order to get this into the timeline here so that we can combine it with other things, I'm gonna go over to this window here and I'm just going to draw it in to the track that I've already set up. And we're gonna go ahead and zoom in there. And I'm just gonna paint that pattern in a few times. And now if I press play, it's gonna be playing from the pattern window. So we want to switch over to song mode. So next to the play button, I'm just gonna select song. Okay, next we're going to uh, drag an audio clip into the timeline here. So underneath samples, I'm going to close drum rack, go to other percussion, click on tambourine and drag it in. Okay, and it's going to be a little bit loud right off the bat, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. And then I'll just paint that in. So next to each channel, we have a volume knob and a panning knob. So I've just brought down the volume on the tambourine here. And when you drag an audio clip in, it's going to create a channel for you to do that with. If you'll notice, all the uh, other channels that I had here are now gone. And if I want to get back to them, all I have to do is navigate back to the filter group that I was in by clicking this uh, menu here. Going to drums, and that's where I had my uh, channel set up. Okay, so next, let's get some toms in here. So, if I click on toms, you'll see that I have just another FPC set up. And what we're going to try doing now is importing a MIDI pattern into this instead of drawing it in ourselves. So I'm going to navigate to a new pattern by going up to uh, pattern 1 and clicking and dragging upwards. Now I'm in pattern 2. And now I'm going to close samples and I'm going to go into MIDI. I'm going to drag toms in. Okay, and now we have a tom pattern, so I'm just going to go ahead and play that. Okay, and then I'm going to navigate to song again and paint that in. Okay, and finally we're just going to get a crash in here. So we're going to navigate to our samples folder again, other percussion, and drag crash in. And that's going to be really loud, so I'm going to turn it down. And that's going to do it for our basic drums. In the next video, we're going to be setting up a few of our instruments. So I'll see you in the next video. We hope you've enjoyed part one of this course. To continue, please go to the website and select a membership to suit your needs. Welcome to MakeThatTrack.com. At Make That Track, we provide everything you need to make your favourite style of music from start to finish. Our Getting Started series will show a complete beginner where to start 
and what they need to do to start making music out of the box. Once the basics are grasped, you can learn how to make the genre of your choice with everything that you need in the process. Want to know how to make that elusive sound from your favourite producer's tracks? Check out our How To Make That Sound tutorials. We take the guesswork out and show you exactly what you need to do to get that sound within a few simple steps. With tips on arrangement, mixing, mastering and effects, you'll have everything you need to prepare your tracks to send to a record label and to play in the clubs. Get everything you need to make the music you love today.